you think it can't happen? Yes, there are politicians hitting new lows. AOC voting against the latest stimulus bill. Even her hometown liberal newspaper slamming her for that. Speaker Pelosi, get this. Well, she's entertaining the radical measure of guaranteed income. And now she's saying the travel ban that saved countless American lives wasn't, quote, this great moment because it didn't go far enough. No Democrat supported it, and Trump got bludgeoned for it. Congenital liar Adam Schiff, he seems worried Trump may somehow keep people from voting in 2020. Boop, 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 boop. Crazy. And then disgustingly, Schiff is even claiming that failing to impeach Trump meant that thousands of Americans were dead. Wow. Meanwhile, a story published by the Biden campaign that Trump supposedly owed the Bank of China millions yeah, that was a lie. They had to retract that. Comrade de Blasio, mayor of New York, taking leisurely strolls in the park, way away from his home in Gracie Mansion. Here with Reaction, Fox News contributor Mike Huckabee, House Judiciary Committee member Matt Gates, Congressman of Florida. Governor, I, I, I look at these comments, I'm thinking, oh, Trump wasn't tough enough on the travel ban, and, 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 and if Trump, you know, would have acted sooner. I'm like, wow. Do they have any shame? They don't have any shame whatsoever. And uh, the only thing that's worse is the fact that the media doesn't have the integrity to call them out. They, uh, they aid and abet the Democrats for saying such outrageous things. And they go after the president all the time. They misinterpret. They misrepresent uh, everything the man says, like he was telling people to go swallow light bulbs and drink Lysol. He never did either of those things. But on the other hand, they give a free pass to the loons like Nancy, $13 a pint designer ice cream Pelosi. Uh, they let Schiff off with talking about uh, 50,000 people killed by the president's action. Many more were saved than that. It, it's just bizarre. It truly is. One thing about AOC, I got to give her credit for this, Sean. Uh, people think she's maybe not smart. She's smart enough to become a pretty significant part of pushing the entire Democrat Party agenda way so far to the left that they've fallen off the edge. You know, and if things haven't gotten worse, Matt Gates, I mean, Schiff was pushing impeachment. You were in the middle of all that. They weren't focused on China. The president was focused on China. We know what he did January 30th, 10 days after the first case of corona in America. Put the travel ban in, a, in place and got the crap beat out of him for him while Schiff was pushing his phony impeachment. I don't think impeachment will be viewed by history as having saved any lives. I only wish my Democrat colleagues would spend half as much time working with this president as they tried to spend removing him from office. Americans deserve to know who's fighting for what. Democrats are fighting for illegal aliens, for upgrades to the Kennedy Center, and for bailouts for blue states. I mean, I, I don't understand why New York can't collect bail money from their own criminals, but they expect to be able to collect for non-coronavirus expenses from the people of Florida. And maybe out there in California, Gavin Newsom would think about not giving free health insurance to illegal aliens before asking the rest of the country right, to cover this. California's budget deficits that they had well before. For coronavirus. And meanwhile, Republicans, we're actually trying to leverage the strength of this economy for our people, for our workers, for our businesses. And I think that's ultimately what so we'll So how does this play out in the 20 seconds each we have, Governor Huckabee, in 190 days? I think the president ultimately wins because I just want to believe the American people aren't as stupid as the Democrats are playing them to be. They can see for themselves, and they know that if the Democrats get elected, they lose their liberties. It's not about losing an election. They lose their liberties, and that's what's at stake. How does it play out, Matt Gates, in 190 days? The principal question in the upcoming election is who can bring America back? Donald Trump has done it before, and Joe Biden, it's pretty obvious he's not playing with a full sack of marbles right now, and I don't think he'd be able to even bring himself home, much less bring America back from this crisis that has been inflicted on us by China and their lack of transparency. Time for the media to ask Joe some questions. Let's see, 10 interviews, number of weeks, 81 questions, not one about Tara Reid, who has a lot more corroboration than any of the Kavanaugh accusers.